Plymouth City Council is on a journey to net zero, reducing our emissions both on our own buildings and across the whole city. We need to lead a green energy transition using energy as efficiently as possible. Currently over 50% of energy is used for heating and cooling. Fifth generation district heating and cooling grids are an important part of that puzzle. At least 30% of the energy generated in cities can be reused locally. Plymouth City Council has been developing a scheme in Mill Bay designed to work with these principles, facilitating an energy exchange. Waste heat from cooling, which is normally rejected to the atmosphere, can be shared with other buildings. This reduces the overall energy demand significantly. Low temperature demand is matched with a low temperature supply as much as possible. The low temperature network also acts as a balancing grid and thermal store. Additional thermal storage can provide interseasonal storage. If we add solar into the mix, as we have done with our own building at Ballard House, this further localizes the energy mix to supply the heat pumps at each connection. Not only does this approach allow surplus energy to be shared by utilizing waste heat sources, it also offers resilience to climate change, anticipating the increase in cooling demand over time. In fact, by efficiently removing heat from the atmosphere, rather than rejecting heat into the air through air conditioning, it helps to reduce the impact of urban heat. This prevents heat islands in cities from occurring. Fifth generation grids are not based on one central source, but continuously exchange energy from various sustainable energy sources, such as rejected heat and cold water, or ground, solar and wind energy. In the past, residual heat and cold from industry, retail and households was just wasted, but it can now be used by everyone connected to the grid. In short, fifth generation grids are super local and super efficient. Plymouth's fifth generation grid has a unique opportunity to use seawater to balance the heating and cooling grid, which is returned to the sea at a lower temperature. This is a very low carbon solution, which could be relevant for other coastal cities. Crucially, the fifth generation approach is entirely replicable in locations without access to the sea and can work in other urban areas with different heating and cooling demands. Instead of using seawater or geothermal, there are many other ways to balance these networks, including using a range of waste heat sources. These sorts of networks also have the potential to provide grid services by utilising surplus renewable generation on the grid when demand is low. This is a win-win solution as the lower cost of electricity can also reduce the cost of heat. In conclusion, fifth generation systems can provide the efficient and adaptable solution we need for our sustainable future.